All right, <clears throat> here we go again. We just did total surface area of rectangular prisms, so now we're going to look at the lateral surface area of rectangular prisms. So again, rectangular prisms, they have six sides to them. And when we're looking for the lateral surface area, what that means is that we're not considering the bases of the shapes anymore. We're only taking those lateral faces. <clears throat> Excuse me. So our formula has changed a little bit. It is now just P times H. The plus 2B is gone because we don't need the bases anymore. So again, P stands for perimeter. So to find perimeter, we add all the sides. Okay, and this is the perimeter of the base still. H is just the height of the prism, which is still from base to base. And of course our base is the rectangular rectangle on the bottom of the prism. Okay, so just like before, it's very important to recognize what your base is because we still need the perimeter of that base. So when we're looking at this rectangular prism, we're going to consider that the lateral, the base is still the rectangle that's on the bottom. Okay, so we have highlighted that base. Now we'll redraw. Okay, so the front of that rectangle, the base is six, which means the opposite side is six. The short side there is four. So that means the opposite side is four. Now, since our formula is only pH, that means that P, the perimeter of the base, is going to come just from this shape that we redrew. So we're just going to add all the sides together. So 6 plus 6 plus 4 plus 4. Okay, now we're going to get 20. And then the only other piece we need is the height of the prism from base to base. So again, the base is on the bottom. So that means the opposite, the top, is going to be the other base. So from base to base, it is 3 in this case. So now we take everything that we have, and we our P and our H, and we plug it into the formula. So lateral surface area equals P, which is 20, times H, which is 3. You just type it into your calculator, 20 times 3, and you get 60. And there's no unit listed here, so we'll just say 60 units squared, whatever those units might be. <clears throat> For this next one, it has a shaded box there. So what we'll assume is that the shaded box is now our base, because sometimes on questions they'll say, the base of the figure is shaded. Okay, so base of figure is shaded. Base is shaded. Okay, so that means that our shaded rectangle this time is going to be the base. Okay, not the bottom like we have been doing. Okay, but now I'll just come over here and I'll just redraw that. We'll draw it over here since we have kind of standing up. Okay, so the long side here is 10. So that means the opposite is 10. The short side there on the bottom is 4. That means the top is 4. So P, the perimeter of the base, is going to come from this shape here. So we just add 10 plus 10 plus 4 plus 4. We get... 28. Okay, let me write that a little bit clearer. So 28 for P, the perimeter. <clears throat> now, we need the height of the prism. Okay, and since we used this side piece as the base, that means that the opposite side is actually the other base, and that our height going to come from this other number here. So H is 5. OK, 
Okay, so we multiply lateral surface area, which is 28, times 5, and we get 140 centimeters squared for our lateral surface area. <clears throat>